Static has an intriguing premise, but it doesn't go to the dark places writer Charles Beaumont would usually bring his scripts. It also lacks the romanticism of a well-done nostalgic Rod Serling episode. So it sits in a bit of a weird middle ground with a cynical main character going through a smaller scale Twilight zone -y situation. But is it still worth a recommendation? Let's find out. Ed Lindsay is an ornery older man who lives in a boarding house where most of the residents are mesmerized by television on a daily basis. Fed up with the mindless shows and advertisements he sees, he fetches his old radio from the basement and sets it up in his room. To his surprise, it begins playing music and programs from the 1930s and 40s. However, when he tries to show the other residents, Ed is never able to get that particular station to work. He eventually grows so attached to the old radio that a few of the boarders worry for his mental well-being and give the contraption to a junk trader. When Lindsay finds out, he rushes away to try and recover the last remaining buoy to his good old days. Static was directed by Buzz Kulik, and ends up being almost an inverse of the episode he helmed before this, The Trouble with Templeton. They're similar in the fact that both main characters long for their younger days and old relationships, but the conclusions they find themselves in by the end are very different. Kulik went on to direct six more Twilight Zones over the years, but this was the only one he had to shoot on videotape. Indeed, this was another of the six productions recorded on videotape to conserve money, complete with Rod's narrator eyelines going all over the place. While it doesn't heavily impact the installment's quality, it is noticeable and jarring when watching it back to back with an episode shot on film. However, Kulik compared it to live TV, which is where his career started. He said in an interview years later that this format was easier for him to work in than the single camera setups of the more standard cinematic Twilight Zone productions. He admitted it didn't work as well as the episodes he shot on film, but ended up happy with the work at the time, although Kulik also mentioned he remembers Static the least of the nine he directed in total. Charles Beaumont wrote this episode based on an unpublished story by O.C. Rich and changed quite a bit from the original. He villainized television as the entertainment medium of people who want to blankly stare at a flickering image as their brains turn to mush. This is exemplified in the advertisements shown early in the story. The new chlorophyll cigarette. The smoke that doesn't smell like tobacco, but smells good, green, cool, like grass. This was easily the weakest of Beaumont's six scripts up to this point. Where most of his other work left the viewer with a thought-provoking story or haunting feeling, Static falls well short of that standard. In spite of that though, the episode does get better as it goes along and strikes at the heart of the matter in a well-acted scene from stars Dean Jagger and Carmen Matthews. At one point decades ago, they were engaged to be married, but for various reasons, including the declining health and death of Ed's mother, it didn't work out. Yet they've stayed at the same boarding house since then and still see each other every day. We had our chance and missed it, Ed. And now you love what we were, what we might have become together. You want to go back to 1940 and start all over again. Why do you think you keep hearing getting sentimental over you on the radio. That was our song, Ed. Get out of here, Vinny. Get out of here. And let me alone. It really is a well-performed exchange and still comes across as believable. Maybe in a longer format, it would have been enough to bring this episode up a few levels. On its own, the full sequence is worth checking out if you find yourself in the mood. After Vinny and Professor Ackerman get rid of the radio, Lindsay tracks it down at the junk traders and repurchases it for $10. Once he gets home and plugs it back in, I'm Getting Sentimental Over You comes on again, and we see a younger Ed and Vinny reunite. It's 1940, and the couple have another shot at happiness. A quick note about that ending scene. Vinny mentions Ed Wynn's old radio show. Wynn starred in two Twilight Zone episodes himself, so I thought that was a nice little nod if done intentionally. While the ending is an uncharacteristically sweet one for Beaumont, it feels rushed and lacks a more bittersweet, poignant punch that could have helped it stand out. The addition of makeup and wigs to Ed and Vinny do effectively pull off a convincing younger look for them that was foreshadowed in the picture we saw earlier in the episode. It would have been easy to just get a younger pair of actors, but I respect that they went for it, keeping Jagger and Matthews in the roles. 
Static has a few things going for it, especially the emotional scene between Ed and Vinny, but it doesn't have enough steam for me to recommend a watch or rewatch after combing through the series to find the best episodes. It may appeal to some, though, so if the concept interests you, turn on your radio, listen closely to the static, and break through to the fifth dimension known as the Twilight Zone.